passionnant, when the earthquake and the tsunami, and then also the sort of the serious danger due to radioactive, so nuclear radioactive. When I heard that, I really felt sort of very, very, very sad. Uh, firstly, of course, these people, uh, as a human brother, sisters, saints, there. And then such sorrow, uh, suffer, suffering beyond our control. It is very mysterious, very sad. Uh, then, secondly, Japan, as a Buddhist country, uh, I am Buddhist. Uh, then, thirdly, here yeah, in this country, uh, because my uh, number of times visit here, I have many Japanese friends. So therefore, I felt uh, as your friend, it is my duty to pay visit uh, your place and share of your sadness. So, uh, uh, the end of April, while I uh, went to America, I stopped uh, uh, Tokyo uh, uh, a few more days and also had the opportunity to train for those uh, people who sort of tragic, tragically died and also expression, express uh, my condolences to those family members. And then uh, uh, in, in one, one temple, Kofokuchi temple. Uh, Kofokuchi temple. Kofokuchi temple the, uh, I had some prayer. Very moving moment. And actually there after our prayer, I met one person who actually come from this place. Okay. So then I promised him in future uh, when I have opportunity, I uh, want to visit the place where this tragedy actually took place. So now I'm here. Yeah, I'm very, very happy. Then, this time, as soon as I landed at Narita Airport, I saw my long-time friend ready to receive me. Uh, from then, uh, up to here, every place, the Japanese the Buddhist brothers and sisters uh, taking maximum care. So I am very, very happy. Uh, now this is, I think, last stop. So now I am looking forward to see more people here yeah, and share their deep feeling. Yes, no questions? で、今回ですね、この仙台を訪れたということをもう一度ご説明いただきたいと思います。あと、もう一点、この被災地の方々に、それをメッセージを発したいかということを、この2つのメッセージを、え、仙台で約束を開いていきます。中央の、え、仙
tragedy already happened. Now instead of too much sort of sad, sad, that tragedy, sadness must translate into enthusiasm. Rebuild your home, your town. Tell that. That I am going to repeat that. Next question. よろしくお願いします。それでは、松田さんの。少々受け取る。少々指導言葉を、説明をしてもらいたいと思います。あ、そうですね。あ、12月ですね。あ、そうですね。そうですね。はい。12月の話しかなんで、全然カレンダーご
、11人前、うん、6通りまだ自殺したということですね、ほうさん、ほうさんが今、コメントを。ただ、それは何もやか、たばっちゅうちに警察チームやんけらんって言ってたんですけど、ずっとこれやってきてる。Firstly,、uh, since、uh, March this year, now I already had to work completely about my political responsibility.、Uh, had to work to elicit political leadership. Now, actually,、uh, he is in Washington, I think. Uh, last few days, still I think Washington.、Uh, so I think better ask him. <laughs> I am Tibetan. Now I am speaking、uh, on the level of ordinary Tibetan citizen,、uh, a Buddhist man. Of course, these sort of uh, uh, These events are very, very sad. Now, one thing I would like to express now the leadership in Peking,、uh, I think, should look the ultimate causes of such sort of unfortunate things.、Uh, nobody just s e l f b u r n Nobody do that. You see, they face some tremendous, desperate situation. So,、uh, as I think, I think last year, Maria, the Kondong and the Kondong, the Kondong, the Kondong, the Kondong, I think 2009, one senior party secretary in Kondong province,、uh, he expressed Uh, now, the central government should carry review about policy regarding、uh, minority or these different sort of community. I think it is very right, it is very scientific, very realistic. So, now time comes to review last 50, 60 years their policy. And then also, I think Prime Minister Wen Xiaobo.、Uh, Several occasions he publicly expressed now, now China needs more political reform. And even he state expressed,、uh, even to such extent, he says that China needs a Western style of democracy. I think, I hope,、uh, the leaders should be more serious about this matter. I think time is gone, just relying using force. Time gone, out of date. Relying more and more use force is counterproductive. Never bring unity, stability. えー、たくさん聞きたいことがあったんですが、えー、と質問があまりなさそうなので、一つだけ、えー、っと、トルコの,あのデイインカーネーションのこと。今申し上げたとおり、あの来店に,来店に伴うお話を、どちらの記者さんでございましょうか、誠に申し訳ございません。あのえー、朝日新聞です。朝日新聞さん。あの来店にちなんだ質問を中心とお願い申し上げます。えー、本は9月にですね、えーインターネット上でも発表されていらっしゃるようにたくさんのチベットの方々が今法王に今後のその法王の後の、まあ、ダライラマ15世についてのえ結果をあのどのように変えるのかっていうのを今考えていらっしゃるんですで、えー、と法王がご自身の生前にですねその新たなダライラマ15世を選ばれるお考えは今終わりでしょうかあ、
Actually, I stated uh, in my recent sort of formal statement, I clearly mentioned uh, the sort of final sort of decision uh, will take when my age around eight over eighty five, eighty six, seven like that. So no hurry. <laughs> Uh, as early as 69, I publicly stated whether this very institution of Dalai Lama should continue or not up to Tibet people. Uh, after about 10 years, after uh, uh, then, uh, first day, I would like to sort of co collect sort of views or wishes to concern the people, not only Tibetan but also, you see, whole uh, the Buddhist community who follow Tibetan Buddhist tradition, that means Mongolian, and the whole Himalayan range. Uh, so then, uh, so, 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 according consensus, consensus, then I will finalize uh, uh, the final decision. I will do. Oh, with, with con full consultation with leaders of Tibetan Buddhist traditions. Of course, we believe law of causality. So, every sort of uh, event which directly deals with our sort of experience or feeling, uh, that is a due to our uh, individual or common so community level. Collectively. Collectively, you see our previous or different actions. So I think I'm going to speak more detail in tomorrow. Uh, now two questions, this one. I, I want to take one question from my old friend, is it Italian? Thank you. <laughs> your holiness, because, uh, okay. okay uh, first of all, I wanted to update your holiness about Germany and Italy. In Germany and Italy, there is no any more Europe. There is no any more discussion. The people have decided not to have nuclear. So the discussion used to be until a few months ago. Now, forever, we say no. I just wanted to update you on this decision. Oh, I see. The public level. Yes. Completely no. No. Oh. So, you can good. come to Italy any time and you will be safe. Hmm? <laughs> okay, my question was uh, uh, again about the uh, self-immolation. We are all sad about that. I don't want to ask you a political judgment because I understand your position now. Uh, what I would like to ask you is, uh, as a man of wisdom, what do you think about the fact that in the 60s, one monk that would burn himself in Vietnam, or Mr. Parak, Jan Parak in 68, yes. in Czechoslovakia, huh? only one person would uh, take hmm. the front page of media every day for weeks and weeks. Hmm. They did history. After 12 people in Tibet that has self-immolated, nobody is carrying this, just a few lines. What is your judgment? Mass media has uh, given up their role, or is China so strong that nobody wants to report about these things? What is your judgment about us, journalists? Please give us hmm. advice to us. I think there must be many factors. Uh, I think uh, the recent event in Tibet I think quite, uh, quite a lot, you see, because of that uh, report or coverage. Yes. Oh, I but think... not the certain Very few. 
showing sympathy, concern uh, seems to be quite quite strong in many different parts of the world and uh, including many Chinese like that. That's why it's <laughs> Share means, you say, I cannot take their sorrow. <laughs> but simply, you see, mixing with them, uh, I have to exchange my own sort of, sort of deep feeling. That's the way share. <laughs> I think uh, so when you passing through some difficulties, some of your friends, and especially come to see you and express some kind of control them. Oh, that's the way share and animal like like dogs or cats. We cannot communicate through language, but they just licking you. That's also share. I think human being as a social animal. It is very, very important. This is someone passing through difficulties. Uh, if you remain completely sort of indifferent, and then other person really feels very, sort of, very sad, very, very hurt. Uh, the rest of the community is, as a social animal, it's a moral responsibility to share their suffering. I, I want to tell you one thing, one, one more thing. Uh, in the uh, 70s and 80s, uh, uh, when the Soviet Union there, you see, about the human rights violations, in the Soviet Union, a lot of publicity, a lot of concern shown by the West. West. Uh, same human rights violation. Even in some cases, even worse, which take in Asia less attention. <laughs> so, so, some occasion I express oh, about the human rights violation is concerned, you see, no basis of di the discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> どうぞ、それの方に道を開けていただきます。どうぞ、こんにちは。